Yo, what's going on guys, it's Imperium from Imperium Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of History Whip. Mom. 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 Got some rhyme name in this thing. Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. Then speak louder. Yeah, they're more than happy to have a TV full play since they don't see that migraine. <laughs> and then do that. Well, I can't play it anymore. I need to hence that's what I meant. Okay. So anyhow. You wanted to talk about the Japanese what was it again? Super Fortress? No, I wanted to go into the Simpsons. You wanted to talk about the Japanese Super Fortress, didn't you? Yeah, I'm looking I'm watching the documentary on the Japanese Super Fortress. What's it like? So you wanted to talk about the Japanese Super Fortress? I've wasted so many arrows missing this deer. Are you kidding me? How have I wasted so many arrows on this deer? I wasted so many arrows on it. You just switched off the TV. So. Yeah, basically, mate, where was brought the stone at? Ah. Let's not talk about the last one again. Let's see if I can rest my head up. Uh, so, basically, yeah. I guess I don't have Alexa with me. Alexa, say hello. Alexa, say hello. Hi there. Alexa, what do you know about the Japanese culture? culture of Japan has changed greatly over the millennia, from the country's prehistoric German period to its contemporary modern culture, which absorbs influences from Asia, Europe, and North America. Alexa, what's the most common thing about the Japanese culture? Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, what's the most common thing about the Japanese culture? Alexa, why does everyone love Japan? No answer, really. Alexa, why does everyone love Japan? I know about 1,600 Japanese romances, including your name, The Quick and the Dead, Porto Rosso, and The Wind Rises. I actually know them. Seen them all. Can't deny it. So, let's go about this then. Alexa, what was the first manga created? The first manga creator was Albert Camus. Alexa, what was the first manga created? Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, what's manga? Alexa, what is manga? Manga are comics created in Japan or by creators in the Japanese language. Conformance with style developed in Japan in the late 19th century. Alexa, how popular is manga? Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, what's the most popular manga? Okay. She's really keeping tight lips about that. How many can I create? I can only create you. Create last. Alexa, what is One Punch Man? The answer to your calculation is 1.9. Alexa, what's pu One Punch Man? The answer to your calculation is 1.9. Seriously? Alexa, what is the manga One Punch Man? Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, what's One Punch Man about? Uh, she really hates me, doesn't she, guys? Alexa, what is the first Super Fortress? 
Sorry, I don't know yet. Actually, I know what I want to talk about. I know it starts off with Japan and that, but Alexa, what is Alcatraz? Alcatraz is a juvenile novel series written by the author Brandon Sanderson. Alcatraz series consists of a total of six books. Alexa, how is the original building Alcatraz? I think I said that wrong. Sorry, I don't know yet. Alexa, tell me about the prison called Alcatraz. Hmm, I don't know that one. You don't even know the prison Alcatraz. Alexa! Tell me about the prison Alcatraz. Here's the Wikipedia article on Alcatraz Island. Alcatraz Island is located in San Francisco Bay, 1.25 miles offshore from San Francisco, California, United States. The small island was developed with facilities for a lighthouse, a military fortification, a military prison, and a federal prison from 1934 until 1963. Beginning in November 1969, the island was occupied for more than 19 months by a group of Native Americans from San Francisco, who were part of a wave of Native American activism across the U.S., with public protests through the 1970s. In 1972, Alcatraz became part of a national recreation area and received designation as a National Historic Landmark in 1986. Would you like me to keep reading? Yes. Today, the island's facilities are managed by the National Park Service as part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. It is open to tours. Visitors can reach the island in a little under 15 minutes by ferry ride from Pier 33, located between the San Francisco Ferry Building and Fisherman's Wharf, San Francisco. Hornblower Cruises and Events, operating under the name Alcatraz Cruises, is the official ferry provider to and from the island. Would you like me to continue? Yes. Alcatraz Island is home to the abandoned prison, the site of the oldest operating lighthouse on the west coast of the United States, early military fortifications, and natural features such as rock pools and a seabird colony. According to a 1971 documentary on the history of Alcatraz, the island measures 1,675 feet by 590 feet and is 135 feet at highest point during mean tide. The total area of the island is reported to be 22 acres. Would you like me to continue? Yes. Landmarks on the island include the main cell house, dining hall, lighthouse, the ruins of the warden's house and social hall, parade grounds, building 64, water tower, New Industries Building, Model Industries Building, and the Recreation Yard. Would you like me to keep reading? Yes. Section 2. History. The first Spaniard to document the island was Juan Manuel de Jana, who charted San Francisco Bay in 1775 and named one of the three islands he identified as La Isla de los Alcatraces, which translates as the Island of the Gannets, but is commonly believed to translate as the Island of the Pelicans from the archaic Spanish Alcatraz. Over the years, the Spanish version Alcatraz became popular and is now widely used. In August 1827, French captain Auguste Bernard du Hosili wrote, running past Alcatraz's island, covered with a countless number of these birds. A gun fired over the feathered legions caused them to fly up in a great cloud and with a noise like a hurricane. The California brown pelican is not known to nest on the island today. The Spanish built several small buildings on the island and other minor structures. Would you like me to keep reading? No, thank you. So, that's just all from Wiki. So, it begs the question next is... What do we actually know about that? Because, as you heard... Alexa's got so much knowledge about it, but... How about us? The people who created the lecture. Someone must have done research about it. And um, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that bit of knowledge. Because when I was younger I actually was informed about all this. 
Don't ask why, just accept. I wasn't bad. I wasn't a bad kid. I Actually, no, I can say why. I was mainly all about history when I was younger. Still am now why I'm older. Just. I'm more likely to inform people about history than search it up more. Reason being is because history keeps changing, people keep changing, and that's all it is. History is telling someone about the past, how amazing their lives were back then, or how fun it was. Like, I told you the story the other day about my granddad and my nan. My nan was born during the war, my granddad was born before the war. My dad's... That's my mum's parents, though. My dad's parents... They're both... Sadly, both of them passed away nowadays. Now. But... My dad's... Relatives... One of them... One of them actually went into... Both wars. First war, he was a soldier. He pretended he was 18 years old. Quite surprising. But he did it. Second one, he was a baker. He was the calm baker, so he was exempt from the war. But he lived through both wars. And if you think about it, compared to how we see our lives, our parents, our grandparents, must have lived hell. Just to make these lives that we... We criticise half the time, saying, Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. We criticise these lives. That they fought to try and keep how we have it. I, for one, am respectful to uh, my elders. I'll jog around with them. And... I knew that was going to happen. I really did. Are you kidding me? Take me in. Take me in, world. Take me home to a place. There we go. So basically, I'm going to start making that into a proper mind later on down the line. But as, as I said, our families have tried to keep our lives the way they are, making them how we have them. But we take that for granted. And that's what I wanted to touch upon today. And, well, it originally started with me wanting to touch upon about Japan, how they've changed society wise compared to us Brits they've changed quite a lot and it depends on everyone's outlook personally I think change is amazing a lot of people might think change is scary can be but will it happen yeah a lot of people don't like their lives changing, so it's just down to how you see it. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.